Today I'm going to install some rear seat belts. Uh, through some research and uh, some contacts with the company I work, I was able to get in touch with Securon. Um, and I think I found some belts that are going to work almost perfectly with the car. Uh, for the fronts, I ordered Securon's SEC 500 45. Uh, it comes with a cable buckle on the front and it's a uh, shoulder harness. We'll probably be doing a break before I get to the front belts because i got to get some lugs welted in. But today I'm going to do the back and these 254s uh, look like they're going to bolt right up with uh, some help from the brackets at the from one of the front kit. So the kits came with all this hardware. Nuts, bolts, little brackets instructions on how to use it so I can use this in combination to get the belts installed. I'll be using one of the brackets from the front kit to uh, install the rear which otherwise should just bolt right in. Uh, first thing I gotta do is drill some holes in the uh, parcel shelf cover and everything should bolt up. Okay, to start with you gotta locate the welded on nuts that are already located on the partial shelf. So even in my car, in my 68, uh, back here, on this side, on the corner, and up here, there are uh, a couple of threaded inserts there that are uh, 716-20, and that's what we're going to use to attach the brackets up on the parcel shelf to put the inertial reels in. Um, if you look, my original parcel shelf cover already has a provision. And mine's pretty nasty, so I'm making a new one. But right here, there's already a hole there. So what I'm going to do in just this vinyl is uh, poke this through. Because what I'm going to do is just drive the threaded nut through there. It'll be good to go. So the one thing I had to do to find these fasteners is to get a lot of goo. There's up inside the threaded hole. There's some uh, flex or something in there. Uh, they probably filled it from the fa I don't know if it was fa filled from the factory or in the 50 years the car existed. But you got to dig that out, and you're good to go. So now I'll just slip the parcel shelf cover back up and uh, start throwing the brackets on. So I'm going to start with the bracket on this side uh, and throw everything up right there and get it loosely in place. Whoa. So everything that I'm going to use for the back seat kit came with the back seat kit except for this bracket. And this is from the front seat kit and it's just going to be a little bit of clearance to get over the factory back seat. I will once everything's mopped up and I get a good good uh, feel for how this is going to go make a new uh, bracket that'll look a little bit better but for now this is perfect so one thing I'm going to use is the long bolt to fasten it into place in the back shelf but I'm going to get one of the nuts and bolts that came with it just started on there I will take that back off to put the inertial reel back on Gonna pop the rear seat back up into position. I've got that nice and snug on there and I've just put that nut in so that I wouldn't 
or the bolt in so I wouldn't uh, have to wiggle it in for any. And I can just hold it and put the inertia reel back on. So now I've got the inertia reel, and this is pretty cool from Securon. It's got this adjustable portion to it, so you can install this reel vertical or horizontal. Um, and you just gotta make sure this arrow is pointing up and you'll get nice action out of it. So you take this. Slide everything on. And you can see that this bracket is almost perfect to clear this the seat so for now it'll be a great way to try it out and see how that feels for anybody using this um, seat belt the nice thing from securing too is there's two slots of height that this reel can come in and out so for now it's good I'm gonna grab a wrench take a break for a minute because it is hot in the car um, then I'll throw the rest in. Okay, so I got my wrench. Just gonna tighten all that up on this side and I'll get to the bottom. Okay, definitely a tight squeeze, but uh, we got the reel. So, I'm gonna grab a light for showing the bottom. There's two more bolts to go, and then we can put the seats all back in and uh, ready to drive around with some safe rear passengers, or safer, safe-ish. So now to anchor the, uh, the bottom of the inertia reel, and it's got a factory location right down here. Uh, it's the same, it's 7 16 20, um, and the kit came with everything I need. Uh, so I got a little wave washer, uh, standoff and the bolt. So the wave washer goes on. Here, I'll just show you here. The wave washer goes on this guy here. And then it goes through back to the C belt. And then the bolt's going to go through there like that. It's a little hard to fish it in. You got to make sure that you get the belt in the right orientation so when it comes across your lap. Um, it's pulling across all right, but here we go. And what this little spacer does is it makes it so you can get a little bit of play there. It swings around. So once you tighten the bolt up, you still have some movement there. There we go. So that'll pull across and buckle into this guy. So this one, same thing. We got the spacer, the wave washer, the bolt, and I'm going to click it in like this. Uh, on the bottom of the fan. So this actually has factory location right here under the seat. A um, little harder to get to, you gotta kinda lift up the back seat, but once you get it started, it's not too bad. So pull it out. To get a position you want, you can tighten it all down. Like that. So now, got one seat belt. Just do it all on the other side now. 
gonna take a break and cool off for a second. I recommend doing this on a colder day. Again, super hot day. But the back seats are in. Um, so I get the same blue belts for the front seats, but um, up here, there is no threaded insert for the belt. So I gotta get one welded in there. While I'm doing that, uh, there is a spot for the anchor there, but I'm gonna get the inertia reel welded in down here. Um, so just gotta source some uh, 7 16 20 inches per thread nuts to weld in there. I, I have some, I just would like them to be a little bit beefier. Um, may have to make some and then I can get that in. So, there you go. All right, so I wasn't able to get a good video of installing the seat belts. I was in a bit of a rush and at somebody else's shop because I needed a welder. Um, my friend helped me weld in a couple of lugs. Um, using all the rest of the secure and hardware that was provided. I was able to fasten up all the seat belts and look real good. Uh, they're in mostly factory locations, but I added a few lugs and I'll uh, walk you through that now. So, down here uh, is the factory location. And uh, that is just a, a, a bolt going through there holding on the anchor of the seat belt. Um, and then what I've done is I've added the inertial reel back here and that's one of the spots where I added a lug. So I welded on a lug into the uh, the side of the car for that. Um, just to get the lug, just to get the uh, the reel back out of the way because you can pair these up. You can put the reel here and, and keep them in the same spot but having a lug back here puts a nice up and down uh, orientation for the seatbelt so it, it draws a little nicer and then Anchoring it there. So the other thing that I did is I added a lug up here. Um, so the factory location, there's one in back here, but that gives you a really strange uh, line for the seatbelt, and then this would have to come back, and it makes the inertia reel not work the best. So just had my friend weld up a lug here um, so that we could add the uh, the buckle up here that it comes through. Um, I was able to cut out most of the factory stuff. My car needs a little bit more work getting the uh, the vinyl sorted out in the interior, but the whole interior needs some work. But for now, we got seat belts. Um, up in the front, down here, let's see, right so up in the front, down here, I was able to use the factory locations to, uh, to get the front buckles in place there, so there using the factory location of the, uh, the tunnel there. So, uh, everything looks good. I'm gonna hop in the front, show you how well they work, but I'm happy with them. They look cool. They're solid in the car, make you feel a little bit uh, more locked into place while you're driving around. So there you go. If you've seen some of my other videos, I've been constantly reaching for a seatbelt. That wasn't there. Now I've got one. All clicked in place. Got a nice buckle there. It's uh, it's pretty good. So car feels good. Uh, should be good for the big trip to have some nice seatbelts in place. And everybody's feel safe if uh, you crash. Probably not the safest car to crash in, but. Got a little bit of extra uh, security, I suppose.